My name is Hector Lopez. I'm a U.S. Army Reservist, and I am an American. My name is Ruben Robles, Vietnam era Cold War veteran, six years Army. I am an American. I am Lydia Jimenez Lazaro. I'm an OEF, OIF, Army veteran, and I'm an American. My name is Jose Cardenas. I'm a Vietnam veteran, and I'm an American. My name is Victor Hinojosa. I'm a U.S. Army Vietnam veteran, combat trained at 91 Bravo, Fort Sam Houston. I'm an American citizen. My name is Miguel Hernandez. I'm a Vietnam veteran, and I am American. My name is Enrique Salas. I'm a Marine Corps vet, and I'm an American. Uh, we're here today because a group of people said if you were willing to die for a country, that country would not leave you behind. That country would not let you be deported. Um, we feel that as, as U.S. veterans, uh, we are Americans and we deserve and, and have fought for and earned the right to be home with our family. We have just the great opportunity to have the Chavez family reunited after 15 years of having been separated. So it is a great day for us here, not just in San Diego, but across the country. I'm here to support my husband, Hector Lopez. He's a deported U.S. Army veteran. And I believe that he should be in the United States. He can't come with me. He can't come to see the family. My Tocayo Hector Barrios' house. We're here at his uh, at his altar. His ashes sit right here. We were hoping to get this man buried in the United States of America, but his family decided not to because they didn't feel that they had done anything for him while he was alive. So they didn't feel that they should do anything after he was dead. For the veterans. Well, we got to do more. It's to... it's it, what we have to do is set up a special commission to examine each veteran's case. This group of deported veterans, um, the first thing we have to do is make people more aware, okay? That like we talked about earlier, the yes. fact that the people are getting shocked of the idea that we have deported veterans, that's the first issue. The second issue is, and I think actually the most, the more important one, change the damn law. <laughs> deported veterans across the border in Mexico, uh, some of us, uh, Obviously, none of those guys can come here today. They can't come here for health care. They, they, in, in other words, when they got deported, they virtually lost all their rights as veterans. To end the separation of families in this community, to continue the friendship between our two great countries, our two great communities.